Hello and welcome everybody to the next episode of Transom World 4, the TGV Tour Series. Now, you're wondering where the heck I am. I actually am in St Pancras at the moment in London. Yes, that's right. So what we're going to be doing in this uh, tour is we're going to go from St Pancras through to Ashford non-stop using a TGV. And it looks a lot like it's going to rain and it's very foggy outside today. So we've got a service that's going to start in about uh, eight minutes. So let's prepare the train for disembarkment. Close that door. Cool. All right. So the first thing I want to do is open that door. Cancel the U. Okay, and I want to put the panograph up. Put you up. Put you up. Do you. Do that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is... I think it's... No, I don't want the TVM. Hang on, is it that one? Or was it the KVM? I can't remember. Uh, the VACMA. No, I don't want any of that. Okay, cool. <clears throat> right, so we want to put the headlights on, put the train. Uh, Ashford International, where this train divides. So, apparently, in Ashford, the trains divide themselves. So, I don't understand why that is something. But, anyway, we're gonna. Uh, the panograph is now up and primed and ready to go. And I forgot to put the that on so I can see. I like to put these at 35% so it gives the illusion of a room. Cool. Alright, so I'm just going to fast forward, um, uh, do a cut, and at uh, 10 past uh, 6, we're going to disembark. Alright, so we've got less than two minutes or three minutes to go before we continue on to our service. Now, I had a couple of uh, people actually asking me what does um, the TGV operate on on them, and it's definitely a DC train, but because it goes between countries and everything, they have different voltages. Now, sometimes the TGV actually uses uh, the AC mode, and then, then I can't change it, but the C is, hang on, let me just do that. And then it goes to DC mode, which is in other countries, and then there's LGV, which is basically AC. So I can actually either have it on M, which is AC or LGV and it will still operate on this line and N stands for normal S stands for secondary or rescue and then the L stands for local so what local does if I just um, do that the um, front panograph is raised I'll quickly just zoom the back one is dropped because the it's on LGV mode so if I then turn that off turn that to M and then go to local again I think this is how it does it nope I know both of them are operated with 
I think it's on DC. Hang on, let me just put it on to DC. I think it was M. Yeah, so um, basically the normal one and the DC one basically raises both the panographs on the top and um, the um, rear, the front and rear car power cars of the train. But because this is a TGV and this is an AC line, we need to either put it on LGV mode or M mode, okay? So I'm going to go to LGV and then normal. Okay. And because this is um, operating, the this line actually connects with France uh, later down the track. Um, so it goes through the channel tunnel and basically um, that's where the AC and the DC variants come into fruition. They're going to lock the doors. And if you guys want to know the, the two sounding of the trains, space is the regular horn. And then the N is the high-pitched one. Okay, so it's now raining, so I just want to just do that. And I want to put the windshield wipers on. Which I might uh, increase that to that one. Because it's raining and it's foggy, just be extra careful. because I've got to switch between a number of tracks. Okay, so I can lower the L. And it's going to kick in in a minute. The KVM, which is this thing here. Now we go to 200.
do this one blind so I don't see the speed. So Because um, this line does use the same um, signalling system as what France do for the TGV, the TGV can run on this line and the Eurostar. It's a universal uh, signalling system in Europe and uh, the UK. But because I don't have the um, this uh, system enabled, the KM, uh, this system here enabled, it's not pinging me for if I speed or not. I do have the K KBM in on, but because I'm constantly adjusting the throttle, I'm not pressing Q to basically acknowledge.
increase the speed. So we've got 62 kilometres to drive at. And if you notice the um, the the way the the cantery is um, built, it's very European. It's, this is um, if you look at the cantery, it's very uh, French style, uh, even though it's in England. And this line actually does connect to the Channel Tunnel and uh, France. They actually na renamed this line to uh, High Speed 1 or HS1. Skidding. And um, basically this system here is very good for the drivers because they know when to slow down, when to speed up and everything. So I could basically do this blind, which I'm about to do now. So the speed is 130. And then once we get um, past Ebb's fleet, um, it'll pick up to 2.30 again. Whoops. And I just think, uh, got out of the seat.
48 kilometres to go. 46, sorry. Just eating some uh, crackers. Leveling out at 334 kilometres per hour, <coughs> which is amazing. Even the rain is having a hard time hitting the windshield, going, I can't stay! Okay, uh, okay we're going uphill again. There goes another train. and then let's coast to some of the way. And this is going to be presented on the channel in 4K so you get extra uh, visibility.
rain is like sitting on the windshield going, I need to get away from the wiper. I need to get away from the wiper. And the wiper comes on and goes, ha ha. Might start slowing down because we've got less than 20 k's to go. So the TGV duplex and the later generations of the TGV have regenerative braking. And what that means is that when the brakes are applied, it actually um, puts the power back into the power grid for the train. So it's recycling energy. So we need to start slowing down to 270. Actually, I'm skidding now. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna just slow it down just a little bit more. Keep it at 220, 230, and uh, yeah, go from there. <coughs> That's the great thing about the, um, the system inbuilt on the TGV and the European trains, where they've got the signaling system built into the cab, where the driver doesn't, because they're going so fast. Any high speed train that basically is on a line that has high speed over 300, they won't be able to see the actual speed on the side of the track. So that's where they invented this signaling system. Now it's flashing and it's going to reduce the speed again to 230. I think they do it in like 20 um, kilometer increments within speed. I'm just going to start slowing down before 200. And I knew that was going to happen. And then down to 160. But I preempted it because we've got two signals ahead that are before the 160 change. So, <coughs> when it's blinking, it means there's going to be a change in speed. When it's solid, it means it's constant. So, when you want to drop speed quickly, go between uh, around about for uh, PSI on the TGV because it drops your speed quite nicely and then you put your um, your brake on with the power handle as well just as an extra thing because that's your regenerative braking there I've got a little bit too I, was a bit aggressive on the the um, brakes just there. Cause we're like three k out from Ashford. Even though the, the thing says it's 270, that's not right. Now it's 160. Okay, I'm just gonna slow us down 
just a smidge. So if you want to go slow on the braking, go between four and five. If you want to um, do a heavy brake, go at four. And have your uh, regenerative braking on as well. I've got 800 meters to go but because I did that a little bit too aggressively notice how I'm doing the braking it's because I've got the, uh, the the regenerative braking on at the same time and it slows it down bleh, the train down just that <coughs> ever so more so I use the primary brake if I want to slow down a little bit more faster and then the regenerative brake I use to if I'm below like 50 K's an hour, I toggle between those two. I put the accelerator on just as a all right, we're here. So basically Ashford International, I think there's a station before Ash, uh, after Ashford where you stop there and then from there you go through the channel tunnel. But I think there's another 80 Ks before that, I think. You might have to look it up, but Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to this series. I've really enjoyed this. So thank you, everyone, and I will see you in the next tour. Bye for now.